everyone welcome back to another exos heroes video so today i'm going to give you a first impression before the update goes out of fc naomi so we have here her skills which is actually posted thanks to epoy epoy for sharing this and let's go into her skills so let's go first with her passive so block three afflict, uh, afflicts all enemies with provoke 10 times if an ally takes damage and their health falls below 30% and grants heal over time to self and heals for 20% of attack and return for 5 turns. So this is actually basic. Then gains mana uh, if own health is at 20 and at 70% or more when triggered. Okay, next is your rigid body. So becomes immune to damage from share health. So she actually gives share health for her S1. So she gains immunity um, by receiving that damage. Her uh, her new skills are actually starting with uh, sorry his new skills are actually starting with flag of providence. So increases defense by twenty percent. Okay, for each back row hero and attack by twenty percent for each front row hero at the start of the battle. So this will play out in terms of your formation whether you have four at the back three or even two so the more you know the more the merrier at the back the, be the the bigger he gets in terms of defense and when you transfer them to the front the more in the front the the, the bigger his attack becomes so again it's up to you but again for for fc naomi he is well built for defense so i would suggest a one front two at the back formation to maximize his abilities Royal Guard is his next passive, which is a mark. Sorry, Flag flag of Providence is also a mark. Royal Guard is actually a mark. Increases mo attack of an ally affected by Soul Bond. So you will need Dorka for this. And I hope that they would roll out FC Dorka as soon as possible. Because again, we need her. We need her for him to be effective in exos heroes and to compete as well in the meta because again from what i see at the first glance fc naomi skills is actually viable for the meta it's just that that we need fc dorka for the for the for the both of them to be you know to to compete or to join in that meta so again royal guard is increased attack of an ally affected by soul bond effect with the highest attack speed okay by 60 percent Okay, so again, another buff of increase in, uh, increase speed by 60% and hit by 60% for 10 turns at the start of the battle. So again, whoever has the highest attack that is affected by Soul Bond gets an increase of speed and hit. So again, a very good buff. Next is Royal Robe. So special reduces Ohm, receive damage by 95%. And this is actually very good and very big as well when own health f falls to 60 percent or below so when naomi's health falls below 60 uh to 60 or below from receiving damage for four turns okay so more or less four turn effect uh damage reduction 95 percent and afflicts all enemies with provoke for four turns so again pretty much very annoying so he now has a passive provoke and for um this is going to be good um this is going to be good passive provoke for four turns and one time per battle okay this is only one time but this is going to be crucial actually the four turns will be crucial because they're going to be so much very very distracted and you can take advantage of your enemies by this time so again so two provoke skills already so one for block three and one for royal robe so he is actually again the great wall of bron as they say here and more or less he is going to be tough as nails and um very good to pair with i see a good pairing here with uh, of course wasted red um next would be i think a good pairing with um 
if you put this in Lenombe, they would be crazy good as well. Um, and more or less, if you mix this up with, uh, I'm not sure who else, Greenland, the defense would, 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 would greatly be improved. Um, I just hope that if you try this, if you try Dorka FC Naomi with, um, with Astoris, that they would actually benefit from this as well, because this is more on defense. And they would be more viable now. So you have Dorka, FC Dorka, FC Naomi. Just in case Dorka comes out. FC Dorka comes out. You have FC Jin, Jinai, FC Shell. And let's say you have their FC Adam. So I think it would be they would be viable as well. Cross my fingers. Cross my fingers that I'm I'm correct on that assessment as well. So let's go to um S1. So proving oneself. So active one, record mana is three. Effects are increases own maximum health by 30, 37%. So you have to, you know, you have to make sure that you increase his health because this skill will scale up his own maximum health as well. So awaken with red all the way. And uh, have, once awaken, equip four red, then the others would be um random so that you could be um you would avoid li limit broken that is actually what i do and buff increases all defense again by 30 percent at 37 percent so again increases both health and defense so you have to increase both uh health and defense and it's actually difficult to choose for this one so self increase on health buff increase own yeah more or less the same so again both you have to choose whether to prioritize health and de uh, defense when you when you build fc naomi um again base a base would of health would be would, would be good then the rest then after a weekend probably defense I, I i take that one back in terms of all red so you have to build his defense then he has a share health with all allies for 16 turns and which is crazy ridiculous because that is 16 turns okay so again a very good defensive hero and for his s2 it's called dragon shout so required mana is four deals 750 damage to one enemy so it's just an actual auxiliary auxiliary attack that he needs to be able to, you know, take down some, some, what they call this, some enemies on the other side. But again, FC Naomi will be valued for his defense, the Great Wall of Brun or the Tower of Brun. Um, again, defensive player of the year. So more or less, that is your quick first impression or my quick first impressions of FC Naomi. And I'm actually looking forward to pulling for him. My problem is just I actually uh, spent all my zest for um, FC Rara last night. So I guess I will be content to what zest I have for this week in pulling for FC Naomi. But again, I will try. I will try my best to get more zest for FC Naomi. So again viable for your pulls guys as long as they build fc dorka but again we're not sure yet on when they're going to bring in fc dorka the current the current version of dorka without her fc is actually already um outclassed and outdated in terms of stats she's actually at the bottom already bottom from my account bottom three uh three the third line already in terms of top heroes because again, the others have um, core memory, uh, maximized um, um, signature force. So again, um, she cannot be used or be viable right now in PvP. Uh, I'm sorry, but she needs badly her FC. So again, FC Naomi, a must pull um, if your intent, if your intention is to build Brun. And if your intention is to splash both in the future FC Dorka and FC Naomi to other teams, then he is a must pull because he needs um, FC Dorka for one skill only, 
but again that one skill royal guard is actually also a game changer and aside from the defense that he's that he gives okay anyway guys that's it for me i'm going to keep this short because i know you guys are excited for the update so again Thank you for staying in this, you know, staying this far in this video. So if, if you're here, please do subscribe. Um, this helps my channel a lot. Thank you guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warded and I'm out of here.